Alright everyone, welcome to another episode. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on my new bass boat that we got. Um, I'm really excited. I can't wait to go out and fish on this. And today I'm just going to redo a review. I picked this up last night, and I'm going to redo a review on it today. Um, so play, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. So this is a 2013 Bass Tracker Pro Team 175. TXW. Um, you can get a couple different motors on this boat, and the one we chose was the Mercury Four Stroke in the 60 horsepower. Get this boat going around 40, 41 miles an hour, depending on how you have loaded. Maybe a little bit. If you have it really loaded, or three people, probably go 39, depending on how you have it loaded. So let's go ahead and get in. It has three cross seating two bigger seats on the passenger and driver's seat and then it's got a smaller one in the middle and that seat folds over for a step and two cup holders and it's got storage underneath all the seats keep all the stuff you need you know keep pedestals, paddles, transom saver under there and it's got storage under all three and it's got a drain right there for any water that comes over and a handle if you can see that right there for rough water. Let's get in the cockpit. In the cockpit you have your illuminated gauges. You have an RPM, volts, underneath that is the fuel, and next to that is the miles per hour. You got a couple keys um, and switches here. You got your key slot, off, run, start, your builds your lights and your anchor light and you got your horn you got your live well timer and continuous timer and continuous um, depends how you want to have your live well working depending on how hot it is how good your fish are doing and whatnot comes with a little pretty basic fish finder looking to upgrade that soon it'll get us by though until we do pretty basic pretty much all this is going to show you is um, structure and um, or actually pretty much all it's going to show you is the depth and the temperature maybe a little bit of structure um, pretty much no fish bait it's too basic for that um, but it will work until we get a new one I think it's only like an $80 fish finder um, it's a Lowrance X4 Pro got a little cup holder right here your shifter your power trim on the shifter and then your kill switch, of course. Um, you got a boater's checklist right there. All the stuff you need to have before you go out. You have your maximum capacity. Four people, or 560 pounds. And this boat can carry and gear and, and people just over a little bit of 1,000 pounds. And then this boat... This boat complies with U.S. Coast Guard safety standards in effect on the date of certification. Um, this boat is the Pro Team 175 TXW which I've already went over. And that is the cockpit area. Oh, sorry. You got this little courtesy light right here. Whenever you need a light, turn that bad boy on. Alright, so you go to the back deck. And you have your, pe your pedestal mount right there there's the seat right there you got live well 16 gallons plenty of room for tournament fishing it's divided timed and recirculated and you can take out the divider to make it one big live well it's got matching 370s um, boxes Put three 370 boxes in there. It's got another one on that side. You don't have to use it for that, but that's what they fit. And then this part is the the important part of the boat. You got your gas tank, 21 gallons. Your bilge, cranking and trolling batteries by Interstate. Green ones, the cranking, the blocks, the or the green ones, the trolling, the blocks, the cranking. 
You got an onboard charger, which is nice. It's this. Just plug that in the wall when you get home. Charge all your batteries. Don't have to worry about um, hooking up chargers every time, which is really nice. You got your Mercury outboard, which I already went over. And overall, it's a pretty big back deck. Plenty of room to fish for one person. And then, step down. Got three big hatches right here. Center one's a lockable rod box. All these hatches are lockable. Um, I just got, I fit my net in there. I caught a couple rods in there. I'm aboard. Um, fit your lights in there. There's, there's molded parts for the lights. All that good stuff. It, uh, it says you can hold two seven foots on the top and there's two tubes. The big box in the middle holds up to eight and a half and three on each side holds up to six and a half but you can fit seven foot rods in there but that's what it says six and a half but I fit seven foot rod in there easy. It's got a little telescoping handle right there to hold it open so rod doesn't the box doesn't slam down and hit your rods and break them. These two part there it's got matching compartments on each side. Just keep a little bit of tackle in there. Um, you know it's they're pretty big storage compartments too. If you can see that. Got a lot of boxes in there. This side it's got a bag, a couple more boxes, some pliers, all that stuff. Probably keep butt life as in there. Um what else? Pretty big deck. Deck is around seven foot, seven and a half foot lo long. It's a pretty big deck. Fit two people up here easy fishing. Um, just to show you, on the side where the cockpit is, um, the console, I can fit a seven foot rod on that deck laying down. It's a seven foot carbon line that fits on there. Um, a lot of the other boats in this range, you can't fit a seven foot rod on the console side without it hitting the console, and this one fits. This side you can put even longer rods, but really the longest rod I use is seven foot, seven and a half. You got another pedestal. Walking up here, you got your rod tie down that it comes with. Probably get another one for the other side. Just drop those down when you're running so that your rods don't blow out. Um, you got your 42 pound thrust Minn Kota Edge trolling motor, 12 volt, and your panel tilt and trim and your um, plug for the trolling motor. Always keep that unplugged though just because um, you don't want your trolling motor accidentally coming on when you're not using it and scratching your boat. Here's where you put your cur your courtesy light, or not your courtesy light, your lights for when you're in low light conditions, morning and night. And then on the top of that is the horn. And that's about the whole boat. Um, it's got two cleats on the front and two on the back. Really nice boat. Just can't wait to get out and start fishing this boat. Really nice. I can't wait to run it, fish tournaments out of it, all that good stuff. Really nice and roomy compared to our last boat. And that's about it, guys. Get the test one video once we break in the Mercury. It's got a 10-hour break-in period. Once we get that broken in, I'll get the test run out for you guys um, full speed. Because when you're breaking in, you it's complicated. You can't really run at full speed. Um, for 10 hours or something like that. Um, so that's basically it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the review of my new bass boat, Bass Tracker Protein 175. Thank you guys for watching.